Hello everyone and welcome to the Weekend Slice and welcome to Wolfenstein, the New Order. I'm really excited to play this game. I played a little bit already just to test out the recording settings and it's uh, definitely looking like this has the potential to become one of my favorite games ever. And though I know that was not uh, a joke. It's very very well done at least the first couple of hours which is what I've played I think it's a maximum of couple of hours really because I've been sort of fiddling with set setup and you know testing this and that but I didn't really get to enjoy much of anything that I've seen so far from the game but it is looking like um, something special uh, up there with Bioshock and other first-person shooters that have focused on uh, telling an engaging story with some really cool characters. Now, to give you a bit of a background, um, you know, for the sake of explaining why I'm really excited to play this game, Wolfenstein 3D was the first first-person shooter that I played. I was hooked, I was fascinated with it, and to, I found it to be, in terms of, like, I don't know how to explain it. The connection that the player has with the main character, it was much better from that point of view than something like Doom. Doom had the better graphics, the faster gameplay, everything was better technologically speaking in Doom, but story-wise, I think Wolfenstein was just... Uh, although both games don't really have that much of a story, back then games didn't really do that, but I felt Wolfenstein 3D managed to pull me in much more than what Doom did. I mean, in Doom certain things were sort of nonsensical and to the point of... I didn't really care what the monsters were that I was shooting, while in Wolfenstein 3D there was sort of that feeling that you're dealing with, you know, uh, Nazi experiments and upsetting thing, things that were upsetting and disturbing and... Uh, gruesome and uh, I really 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 liked it. I, I, I've played um, all of the PC uh, Wolfenstein games. I played uh, Wolfenstein 3D. I played um, Spear of Destiny. Uh, I played Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I played Wolfenstein from 2009 which is by the way a good game that isn't currently available anywhere which is a damn shame. Um, something should be really done about that, in my opinion, and I'm really looking forward to play this one. It's it's interesting to go back to my roots, to go back to what is it now, um, 20 years ago, when I first played that game, I, I, I something like that. I think it's more than 20 years ago, actually, and um, I'm surprised to see an old an old dog learn new tricks to the point where it's actually um, one of the better first-person shooter games that I've seen recently and I don't say that lightly I know it's I haven't played everything and I this is not a review because it's just an initial impression based on the first couple of hours but it's solid in terms of its design and really really works and it's handled beautifully now let's move on to the game itself and go to the option screen. I've left everything pretty much uh, the way it came with the game. I haven't changed a lot of uh, things around here. Um, I've, I've turned on subtitles for everything because that's something that I like to do. Uh, especially when I'm doing commentary it's kind of difficult to focus on recording, you know, focus on... sometimes you miss a piece of dialogue and it's really helpful to have it written down at the bottom of the screen. Uh, up the FOV up to 100, this is something that I like, it's a personal preference. Um, I don't want to go higher because it becomes sort of gimmicky and it ruins the atmosphere, but 100 I feel is like the sweet spot. Uh, vertical sync, we can you know, leave it disabled or turn it on. Um, I'm gonna turn it on for one simple reason. I've seen some screen tearing here and there and uh, I'm not a fan of screen tearing. 
I'm playing this on ultra, everything's turned up to the max. Uh, well, not to the max, well, actually, everything's as ultra says they are. Uh, I haven't tinkered with any of these. Actually, I find they sort of annoying these days. Like, I don't... shadow resolution. I, okay, I get... that's megabytes, I think. What's the impact in changing some of these? VT compressed. Compressed stream textures. Enable to save graphics memory. Disable for highest quality. Okay, that... Texture streaming limit in pages per frame. Pages of what? Of textures? But... I... I don't know what... If I go back to 16... Or up to 64, what's the difference? I don't know. That, that, that's not explained. At least, uh, any, like, anywhere. These modern games with all of their... Screen space reflections. Enable screen space reflections effect. Which, okay, cool. Nice. Additional texture filtering, shadow complexity, and lighting quality. You... Three different things. Texture filtering, shadow complexity, and lighting quality. But you don't get to, like... You, um, manually change the settings for each of them. You, you, you have one setting for all of them. Oh, I... Some of these um, quality settings here are sometimes confusing. Uh, all that being said... I have to mention another thing. I'm recording this using Open Broadcaster. I'm using the NVIDIA encoder setting, which so far has been killing me in terms of file size, because in order to give... Uh, to get a good quality recording out of uh, the NVIDIA encoder, you have to set the bitrate really high. Um, it likes bitrate. A lot of bitrate. Like right now... Sorry, in the menu, it's operating at a bitrate similar to what uh, X264 would operate at while playing the game. That's how high of a bitrate NVIDIA encoder likes to use. And that results in large file sizes, which, I don't know, I, I hope won't be a problem. Um, and I'm also using... Uh, I'm also recording at 48 frames per second. I think it's a nice balance between the cinematic style of 30 uh, frames per second, you know, that sort of smooth camera movement. Because um, And smooth, I don't necessarily mean a, a slow down, okay? I don't mean smooth in the sense of it's like you get to see everything. I think I, I'm saying smooth in, in the sense that it's easy to predict. It's easy to watch. It's... Um, not an overload of the senses. You're not. You're watching something. You don't feel like you're playing something, which is what 60 FPS can be like for a gamer who just wants to see gameplay. 60 FPS is like, oh yeah, this is the shit. For someone who's not used to that and who might have also a lower end system that can play 1080p at 60 FPS, uh, FPS decently, 48 seems to be to me at least so far from my testing, pretty decent balance. So. I'm done talking. Let's skip all the all of the other um, points of discussion here on on frame rates and recording and stuff because this is not about that. This is about Wolfenstein: The New Order, and let's jump in. I'm gonna play on I'm Death Incarnate. I'm not going to go on Uber. Uh, I think uh, uh, it's a bit too much for me. Um, Hard difficulty setting for the experienced gamer, it sounds about right. Uh, it is hard, uh, it's not easy, and I'm going to probably die. Probably, no. I'm definitely going to die a lot. Uh, so I'm tempted to go for medium, but now nah, I'm going to stick with them Death Incarnate. Uber uh, seems to me like it would be co like too hard, and I, I get easily frustrated in games. Uh, for those who don't know these uh, difficulty settings, can I play daddy, don't hurt me, bring him on, I'm death incarnate, and Uber are also the ones found in uh, the original Wolfenstein 3D from way back when, at least the uh, can I play daddy, don't hurt me, bring him on, and I'm death incarnate, don't remember exactly if Uber was in there. And the photos reflect exactly the photos from uh, that old game, which is funny and cool. Yeah, let's reset everything.
None of it for me. Not moved by roaring engines. Not lone warriors. We come from the night. Nineteen forty six. You keep a lookout. I need to go to the press. A shite. Moskowitz, go back into the flight deck. Clamp the fuel line to engine six quickly. Find the tools in the tool cabinet. You'll need pliers and some bailing wires. The fuel line is inside the fuel line compartment. I failed. The gates again. All in my name. Can't greet you today. I have a war to win. <laughs> You're still breathing, you dumb head bastard. Uh, you're tough as they come, you know. Jesus Christ. Mayday! Vulture one, coming Vulture one. Yeah, I thought I failed. Red pack free Blasco, use it. You playing out your hatch, can't you? Hey, Condor nine, this is Vulture one. You're crowding me, he's off. Negative Vulture one. Got a serious case of adverse, you need to shuffle out of formation and you need to make room, Bergen. Affirmative, Randall. Blasco, retract the radar. Pull the handle up there by those flashing lights. Much obliged, Captain. Damn, that's close. Appreciate your problem, Condor 9. I see smoke. Uh, I see solution coming off your rudders. Your freeze ailerons are done. Yeah, this thing handles like a concrete fridge. Thanks for all the... <laughs> Condor 9! Come in, Condor 9! Ain't that a troop transport? Condor 9, come in, come in, Condor 9! This is Condor 9! Who's this? Private Wyatt! Oh, you're not Alright, boy. Listen up, play close attention. Now, you see the pilot's wheel? Yes, sir! Right. I want you to grab it as hard as you can with both hands and pull it towards you. Now, don't turn it, mind you. You keep it level, just pull it towards your chest. Okay, sir! Come on. I think it's working! We're leveling out! Okay, Private Wyatt. I need you to do one more thing for me. Sir! 
Have a man ready by the side door. You are getting visitors. Roger that, sir! Blazkowicz, get the cockpit door open. You're gonna have to... Talking to some of these other guys, but man, look at this sweet graphics. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. You can overcharge your health, it goes above 100, or whatever your max level of health is at the point when you overcharge, and then when you play, as you play, it will go down from oh over oh your max to your max, down to your max. Oh god, what happened here? Oh, oh thank god you're here! Oh god! Get up your ass! Oh Jesus! Vultures 1, 3, 4, 8, 9 are down. That's all right, slaves that will have to abort. Blazkowicz, get this boy off the floor! It's a negative, Condor 9. Maintain your course. God damn it, Gordon. We're getting murdered out here. Listen to me, Fergus. Thank you, sir! If this mission fails, we lose Europe. But thank you. for you. We can't get to it from out position. Not that fucking trapped in here. But if you can access a cockpit turret on this here aircraft, you might be able to kill the beast. Regular small arm sure don't work for bug at all. Hey, perhaps you can swim here. Just keep your head down below the surface. You should be all right. Good plan, Fergus. Coming to you. Anymore. Oh, I've done it. Beast built 
by death's head. Should have killed that man long ago. I always hate that um, moment. Like I played this beginning part like four or five times just to get you know the settings right, and always that thing, that scene there, the slide, and killed me. My fingers just don't work like that on the keyboard fast enough. Okay, let's not delete that and uh, explore around here. I don't think there's anything to find anyway. We were supposed to keep our head underwater. Traverses glamorous beach from without being fair to London. All right, listen up. There's a high powered machine gun nest in those trenches over there. We can't advance a unit without being slaughtered. So, I want you to make your way over into those trenches and take the nest out. Just run as fast as you possibly bloody can straight up the middle. We'll lay down cover fire from here. Got it. Right, I'll put this on. I'll radio updates from our position. Right, lads, you ready to lay down suppressor fire? Go, 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 go! Fergus. to reload my weapon. I've played a first person shooter before. Damn Nazi bastards. As you can see, it has this old school design of picking things up like health and ammo. Pretty awesome. Let's switch back to this because I don't have. I don't have a lot of ammo. 
for the for the rifle yet. I think. This doesn't need to be straight, nope. Screw you and your coffee. Your damn German coffee. There's some something weird going on with textures like Look at it wobble and shake in there, uh, over there. I don't know what, why that is. The game runs pretty smoothly and uh, so far like only these... I've seen that only in these beginning levels here. Nazis have done the most, one of the most despicable things. They've taken cute dogs and turned them into killing machines. I mean, look at this. This guy, poor little thing, looks like a cyborg mutt or something. Look at those, look at those teeth. Yeah. I don't want to play fetch with that thing. Saw you there, asshole. Thing is, they made a metal so you can use, so you can pick up armor from them when they die. Just look at that, Jesus. And it gets worse later on with, with, with the experiments they've done on dogs. That thing is huge. That's what she said. the advantage in this case because they were all stuck down down that trench. Stick with the rifle while we're still fighting at a distance. Okay, guys, this was it for the first episode of Let's Play Wolfenstein. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm really looking forward to finish this game to get through it because 
the story, the atmosphere and everything is absolutely amazing. I mean, look at this. Wolfenstein is back, baby, at least in my life, and it's, it's back with a bang and with a vengeance, and I love it. I really, really, really love it. Until the next video, stay close to WeekendSlice.com, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share and like the videos, because it helps. Comment on them if you have any opinions on whatever content or piece of information that I might have in there, and if you want to get social, see you on Twitter, because that's where I'm the most active. Bye.